everybody, Namo here. Um, no mowing today. So we haven't had rain in like two weeks. Nothing's grown. Um, it still looks like it did last week after I mowed. So other than a couple tall weeds, uh, like some sea heads for some weeds, you really can't tell it, that anything's grown because it just really hasn't. So no mowing today. But what we are going to do is these planks on the front of the deck. I put them up uh, in a, a few vlogs ago. I've got them wrong. Um, I took the plumbing that I got for this spigot and I don't know if you can, there it is. There's the end of the, there it is. There's the end of the pipe. So I have the, uh, the bits to connect to that. Uh, the minimum distance will put it up inside the joists of this deck. So it needs to go lower. So I need to take this plank, move it up and move these ones down, uh, to make them give it a little bit lower distance. Cause once the barrels get put in and the uh, pipe gets run down to the bottom of the joist, it needs to drop a, about an inch or two, um, before joining into that spigot. So the plan for today is to actually get as much of the rain barrels uh, installed as we can. So what that involves is coming in here and cutting, I believe it's 10 of these uh, planks out. Then we'll build a frame right off this. You can see the line of nails. It's where the joist is. We'll build a frame right off the joists. Um, we have these 2 by 8s So we're going to do two rows of 2 by 8s So it should be 16 inches tall for the platform. I uh, use f uh, 4 by 4s for the bracers to connect them to the joists and to give it more support. Uh, a few scrap pieces in between for structural support. And then we'll be setting these on top of them. Plumbing them up, getting them connected to the gutter. Hopefully we can get all that done today. So my kids are home, so they're going to help me with it. That gives me an, a few extra pair of hands. I uh, don't really know how well that's going to work. Uh, but as long as I keep them on task, um, maybe we can actually finish on time. So that's my plan for today, is to just work on the rain barrels uh, i do need to get the water hose hooked up to my plants down there by the fence and the uh, the soaker hose to get them some water because like i said we haven't had rain in two weeks i know it looks like it's going to storm but it's predicted to be cloudy or partly cloudy or fully sunny for the next 10 days no rain no rain predicted so i have to since i didn't do the rain barrels earlier i have to rely on our hose that's around back and our metered water so that's the plan for today um we have a dehumidifier in the basement, and we have a couple buckets sitting underneath the air conditioner that collects the condensation. Um, we will be emptying them into the buckets. It's not going to be enough to fill the rain barrels full. Um, I mean, over time, it will, but I'm going to have to use that water uh, every now and then. So, that's it. That's the plan. We'll see if it happens.
Okay, so we've got the rain barrels all plumbed up. Everything's sitting, looking like it needs to be. Everything's working with it's held water. Um, nothing's really leaking. We put the house water hose into it, filled it up about three or four inches. It filled all three barrels at the same time, same exact level. Everything's working like it's supposed to, except for the spigot. Um, the spigot is from the... I mean, we had to replace it when we uh, redid the water lines um, for the main house. So, it is an anti-siphon uh, water spigot, meaning that when your um, when the city's water level gets or water pressure gets low, it 
closes off and won't let anything backflow. It's kind of like a backflow preventer so that I got a piece of wood in my eye. Uh, so it won't let, you know, the water from the hose go back into the city supply. That means that the water pressure that my three barrels produces is not enough to make the spigot work. So we have to go to Lowe's to get a new one. But let me go ahead and show you um, how everything's set up. Alright, so there's the platform that we built for all three barrels. I'm going to have to figure out how to actually secure them. Um, I might be doing um, some cheap, small ratchet straps and some like... Uh, eye bolts. I, I don't know. I've got it. I've got some kind of an idea, but right now they're just kind of sitting there by themselves. The water will weigh them. Will weigh them down once they fill up. But right now they're empty, so a strong wind could come in here and just mess everything up. I've got the gutter running straight inside. Uh, we've got a big enough hole so that we can pour the condensation from the air conditioner into there we've got a dehumidifier in the basement we can pour that in there that way we're reusing this water so let me take you down around to the bottom all right so here we are under the deck and you can see how we've got everything plumbed up all three barrels run to one central point that point runs all the way down the deck you can see it has a slight drop and then there's that one little connection that the spigot should have connected to i mean it did connect to it everything was you know hooked up and working great but like i said i've took this thing apart thinking that it maybe had a clog but no this is the little backflow preventer piece that sits back here there's just not enough water pressure in the system to get this uh, little uh, flap to let the water through it just it stops it just doesn't work so I gotta go get a new one that'll connect to that you can already see it's like it decided to rain it decided to rain I made this thing it decided to rain so you can see lines up so we gotta get go get something to make it work all right so we just got back from lowe's and we got a little threaded coupling another little threaded coupling and a half inch pvc pipe and this brand new spigot that has nothing other than just a seal cock so you just turn the little handle and everything should work so right now we're waiting on the cement dry and then we'll start filling it up with the water hose a little bit uh, just to make sure everything's holding water and it's all working good all right so we use the hose to fill the uh, of course blue barrel up a little bit and you can see the levels in the white barrels um you can't see it on the camera but i can actually see the water level in the blue barrel uh, with the l limited um, sunlight that we have but you can see they're both filling up they're all filling up kind of evenly the blue barrel actually fills up about an inch higher than the other two but if we come down here uh, this is the new spigot we got water it's a little bit orange but we got water and all the way back to the barrel only thing i have left to do with it honestly is to run the overflow which i've already plumbed it into the barrel there this is honestly just a um, <clears throat> bathroom, like a bathtub drain. Uh, I think the piece got put away. But on the inside is the little bit that you screw in and the rubber washer. And it screws into this pipe here. And this is one and a half, P uh, one and a half inch PVC. 
I'll just run that down and connect it to the sump pump um, exhaust line because that's inch and a half but that's all put together so if this thing gets too full it's got an overflow and it was supposed to be the ones where you click it and it closes and you click it again it opens up I just removed all that I just have the the piece on the inside and the rubber seal so it's an open hole into this so it'll be real good for when it overflows and that's all of it today um, there's a few more things for us to put away but we're done and I'm happy with it so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Thank you.